Oh, there's a mistake. Not much time left. That didn't happen. This is the new Arma Mojave Gram. Just picked it up, haven't driven it yet. We're going to start right away with some lap times in the backyard. I think it's going to be great for the backyard track, but there's only one way to find out, so let's go have some fun. First impressions are that it is heavier than I expected, which can be a good thing that can give you more traction. This body clip system is awesome. Not having to deal with body clips, you just push that tab on both sides to take it off, push it down to put it on. There is quite a bit of plastic on the body, which adds some weight. Hopefully it's not too much up high, but that will add some durability as well. Looking at the chassis here, it is a brush motor and four wheel drive. We'll see if that brush motor is going to be fast enough for me or if I'll have to upgrade in the future. But let's go see how it does. All right, here we go. Track is in pretty good shape. Got some rain last night, did a little watering. Oh, not a good start. Definitely not used to it. It is pulling right pretty hard. So I'll fix that with the trim. Well, that's going to be a bad lap. So that will only give me two tries to set a fast one. Let's see what Hannah can do when she drives. Ooh, another rough lap. Probably should have practiced, but I just wanted to do something different this time. So, I'm getting a feel for it while trying to set some fast lap times. That jump is a little much, I guess, for the power of the brush motor. Okay, I got a few laps in, so now let's see if I can get something a little better. That jump is just not quite enough power for it, but didn't know that, so we'll deal with it for now. All right, decent lap there. 13.4, but doesn't count since it wasn't within my first three. Hannah's turn with the new steed. Let's see what you can do. It is pretty tricky to jump right into it with a new truck. See? Lap two. It's definitely different from what we normally drive back here. You have to be on the gas a lot more, hitting wide open to make the jumps where some of the other rigs we run are brushless, so you don't have to use so much throttle, which she's probably not used to. The steering is quite a bit different as well, so there's some key differences that are hard to adapt to right away. 16.1 and I had a 16.0. Wow, we are actually really close, way to go. Now that you've had a few laps with it, what do you think? Needs a different motor. You want more speed already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to hit the jump. Now Hannah's driving a low C Mini B, which is pretty similar in size, but it is two wheel drive. It does have a little bit more of a racing design, I would say, an aluminum chassis. So we're going to see which one she is faster with, and she gets to drive that for some five lap races. Yeah, 14.3. All right, looks like you are racing the buggy. Yeah. Oh, I got the start on her. But she has more power and might just jump over me right here. Almost. That's going to be pretty interesting how that works out when she can jump. And I can't. Pretty even on that first lap. Oh, and I go for the takeout. Got to wait on that one. That was dirty. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to clear that. If it wasn't for that one jump, this would, truck would be about perfect speed. But got to have one in there. Do I change the truck or... Do I change the track? That's the question. It is pretty fun to drive and we're keeping it pretty tight here. That was racing, but we'll wait and even it out again. Coming up on, what lap was that? Three, I got the lead, but she's coming quick. Oh, there's a mistake and she jumps by me. Can't get that double. She's pulling away a little bit, coming into the last lap. See if I can pull something off. It does feel like maybe it's getting a little bit slower. Gotta be pinned more often than not. Oh, that was Sorry, so close. I'm going. <laughs> She's taking it. Taking the win. I couldn't knock you over. Sorry. You can now, though, right? Yeah. Dang, that was actually really close that whole time. Beep. And we're off. Race two, going best two out of three. So I'm really hoping I can pull something off here, or maybe I just have to get a little bit dirty. Oh, she spun, but it wasn't enough for me. Got a bit of a lead after that lap. Going to need some help here. She goes wide. We're tight. Keeping it close once again. It's actually better than I expected as far as close racing between these two. Oh, she's down. Resume. There's two. 
Looks like she spun out on takeoff there and lost a bit more time, but I need a little help, I think, on this one. We're so close. One mistake is all it takes. So that is three laps. I think if you had a few of these all the same, it would actually be a blast no matter what the track is since everyone would be jumping the same thing. She's down again. It does actually handle quite well on the jumps and the turns. It does feel a little top heavy, but not too bad. And again, if everyone's on the same truck, then it's all even and probably some really close fun racing. Oh no, that didn't happen. <laughs> Um, as much as I crashed. Yeah. You won. Well, just to make the video more interesting, we'll say I took that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Another view over here. Don't drive much from over here, so that'll add some challenge to it. So will the speed and power that she has. But rode right over her wheels there to make the pass. She gets me back, though, after one lap down. Oh, getting a little bumping. As long as you go wheel to wheel, you can get away with some bumping between these two, which is nice. It's definitely hard to keep up where she uses that power to advantage. See how much she pulls on the straightaway. Maybe we should have turned that thing down, make it brush speed. But we're keeping it close once again. What lap are we on now? Three. Three. Not much time left, but I go for the ride over. <laughs> It worked itself out. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. What happened? Bug. Oh, a bug almost made the difference. There's four. This last lap. And it's tight. Could go either way here. Try to protect that inside. I didn't do a great job. She tries to go for it and goes down. So I took the win. The She's blaming the bug. Yeah, it started going all over my trigger finger. Ah, oh, that'll get you. That was actually really fun though. Okay, since the second race was kind of weird and the third one, Hannah had some bug interference. We're doing another one. I got to start this time. It's also just a lot of fun. Oh, she helps me out. What a nice lady. It's also just a lot of fun to race these. So why not do another race, right? That was one lap down. I'm actually almost getting the jump now, which is weird. I think it would be slowing down more but maybe I'm just getting that corner better, carrying more speed. Two laps down. She goes for the pass, but flips it. Okay, we had to take a bit of a competition caution because the camera overheated. It is pretty hot today, so this brushed motor is probably pretty hot as well, but it's still cruising. That was three laps. Not much time left, and Hannah has the lead, but she stuffs the pipe. Let her have that one and go into this last lap behind and trying to make a move and we can really race tight with these things it's pretty sweet there's an inside line move she goes for the jump gets a little squirrely jumps onto me and that might be it if i can keep it smooth around the corner oh. <laughs> well we probably would have been about tied across the line but she spun out what a race that was a good time well, if the battery's dead, I'm not really sure who actually won that with everything that happened, but we had a great time and it did prove that they can be raced together. I'm sure it would be even more fun with a few of these out there, so not sure if I'll get another one or try to upgrade this one. Probably run it stock for now because it is a lot of fun and I was getting more and more used to it and having more fun with it the more I drove it. It held up well with no problems and I'm glad the fan is on there because the brush motor was actually pretty cool. Warm, but not super hot, so I thought it would be hotter than that and have an issue, but so far so good there other than that just had a bit of dirt and dust on it which just means the track was in great shape and we had a blast okay it's the next day now and put a few more laps in i figured out that i can make that jump just have to roll the roller pretty slow use that backside for some momentum and hold it wide open around the corner and off the jump definitely tricky but possible so pretty much just enough speed for this track.